It's taken eight years to get to this point. Uh, do you think this saga ends here or does it just never end? It's a good deal. It's a 10-year extension. The market was uh, expecting something around seven to eight years. The cash buffer gives Greece around 22 months of um, cash without going back to the market. In an ideal world, you really want to give small countries in Europe some flexibility. You, the European, um, the Eurozone currency union needs fiscal transfers. Uh, you cannot have you know, a fixed exchange rate without independent monetary policy and without fiscal transfers. So we have seen that. Um, now, um, the French mechanism would have been the ideal situation. So loans that are linked to GDP growth or GDP linked bonds, where you have an automatic change in the interest rate if there is a slowdown in growth. Having said that, that's not on the table, but having said that, the creditors have said that they would be uh, available to new measures if a recession occurs. So overall, I think it's a good deal for Greece that has completed a lot of reforms. I think the Eurozone remains fragile, though, because core European countries need to focus on growth. And that is the missing point uh, so far. If that's missing so far, then, Alberto, are, are you concerned, disconcerted in any way about the timeline from the ECB that they've given to us in terms of the end of QE and the, the, the rhetoric in regards to holding rates through until 2019? I am concerned that the ECB is missing the exit train. Uh, so, and that's also the problem that um, you know, Mario Draghi has been uh, highlighting during his many press conferences, that... Um, you know, core European governments need to focus on reforms and, and on growth. Um, we've seen Europe um, continuing to grow. Growth is still positive, but losing a bit of momentum uh, in the first quarter. This momentum is not coming back. We are in the middle or maybe two thirds into the expansion. Uh, and we need core European countries to redistribute some of the gains that um, they receive from having a very a much lower uh, exchange rate and negative uh, funding costs on their debt. Uh, if that doesn't happen, the risk is Europe, Europe could find itself in a relatively fragile position should a slowdown occur you know, in the next two or three years, because the ECB will still be at very low interest rates. Um, and you know, the US has proceeded with a very strong fiscal stimulus, building momentum and increasing GDP. Okay. Uh, many countries in Southern Europe need stronger growth to be able to withstand a slowdown in the next two, three years.